Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Panzo6. Welcome to Let's Talk, and today we're going to talk about a few things that's pretty awesome. Uh, I put a video out last week, actually two videos. One was a channel update because I haven't been on here for two months, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, trying to get a more better schedule. But until then, I want to explain a few things to you. That way, you kind of know where I'm at in my life. Um, as you guys know, um, I moved from Illinois back to Kentucky, then back here. Main reason is um, a lot of it has to do with my mental health. Um, I tried to commit suicide, tried to kill myself. Uh, I wanted to kill myself. Um, this is a thing that happened. Um, I posted on Twitter. I talked about this, and I disappointed a lot of people. Um, it wasn't good. I, the main reason why was because I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. Um, and I miss my friends, I miss my family. I thought moving away would be really cool. And, you know, all my life I was like, yeah, I'm going to move out of here, this town, I hate this town. But when you leave, you face reality because everything you know is gone, right? And that's the problem I faced. Um, and, you know, I had some good opportunities, don't get me wrong. Illinois didn't work out. Uh, I worked at Walmart as a door greeter, which was humiliating. But it was a job, right? Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Money's money. Um, and we was able to... We was, we was okay. Um, and I moved to Hebron, Kentucky. And th there's, a, there's a thing you don't want to do in your life, and that's surround yourself with overbearing negative people. And I'm not calling out any names or anything like that, but there's... You know you, know you don't belong somewhere. You, you feel it. Um, and no matter how hard you try, if you want it to work out, did you just, and you know in your heart, but it's not going to work, and you're not happy, why would you continue to do something? That's kind of how I felt. Um, I felt, you know, very vulnerable. Um, I wanted to do my best, but I just couldn't shake the fact that I have family down here that's sick. Uh, my own mom, she's, you know, her sugar keeps on dropping. It's happening all the time. I did get a really good job offer here. Just waiting for that to go through. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know more about that later on. Um, so, but right now we're staying with me and my fiance. We're staying with some friends, uh, back and forth with some friends. Um, and I was just tired of the negativity. There's a lot of negativities. Um, I can say the word right. Um, it was awful. It was terrible. And like a month and a half ago, before we moved to Kentucky, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to kill myself. And it sucked. It really sucked. And I disappointed a lot of people because I said I'd never go down that, ro that road. I don't want to do it again. I, I, I won't do it again. I won't. But, you know, since we got back here, we've been surrounding ourselves with all the friends and family that we have, and it's been great. It's been really great. And... You know, you, you think that, you know, when you leave, that, you know, cool things are going to happen. And that's a very good possibility it can. There's people that can do this. But, you know, I, myself, I've been away from my, you know, I've never been away from this town. The farthest I've been away is just maybe out for vacation. Um, and there's some people who's able to do that. But, like I said, my family's sick. Uh, I've got friends that need me. Um, you know... And I've learned a lot in the last week and a half that I've been here. I've learned a lot from some old friends. And it's really great to be here because I found out that they suffer the same things I do. Um, I, I'm really depressed. I, 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 depression's a real thing. I'm not going to put that inside the, <laughs> the uh, tags or anything. I'm not going to say suicide or anything like that, but... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. It's People struggle with it. I have a lot of friends that struggle with it. And at this point, I know that I can do really good things here. I can do a whole lot of good things here uh, with my friends and my family. I know I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I know good things are going to happen. And I don't care what anybody else says. Um, you know, I've got friends on my back. i got my fiancé for, uh, for me. And, you know, there's people who are rooting against this that don't want us to come here, but that's fine, I don't really care about that, you know, I, I want, I'd rather be 
somewhere where I'm completely happy with my friends and not miserable and be able to say say if something was to happen to my mother or my stepdad or my dad I can be right here instead of seven hours away and have to get that phone call yeah I'm here and you know we didn't tell all these people about this what's going wrong it's none of their business um, but yeah my mom they need help they need help and that, that's one of the reasons I want to be here my brother's gonna have a baby I'm excited about that I want to be here for that um, I want to be here for the guys at the shop um, you know I want to have my wedding here I want me and my fiance to have a wedding I introduced um, my fiance to some good friends of mine uh, we have a long lasting history with each other it was kind of ups and downs but it's really great um, and they have so much in common I've never seen my fiance this happy in my entire like the five years me and her her and I have been together the the happiest I've seen her was whenever I proposed to her but now it's like three years ago almost well two three years ago but she has made friends with this person and it makes me so happy I, I, and I can't stress I say the word happy a lot but it's true I, I really think it's great and you know I get to spend a lot of time now with my friends um, you know I know coming here we're gonna have a little bit of uh, struggle right at the beginning but it's going to get better I see at the end of October we've been in a great spot uh, my friend John is going to be moving in a, a house and apartment with us I have a lot of fun we got a lot of plans um, the shop we've got some plans um, I've got some plans and I wanted to make it to reality I, I don't want to come here and it not mean nothing right um, and I know I get some some of you guys like this content. Uh, I noticed in the last video I got immediately a thumbs down, and it didn't seem to help out very well. But um, I still think I'm glad to be back, glad to be making videos again, glad to be in my hometown, I'm glad to see familiar faces, um, be in familiar places, and you know just overall just joyful it's like you know I come in this town I'm like it's an overwhelming bliss maybe it's bliss the right word bittersweet bittersweet that's it bittersweet's the right thing um yeah but I want to be able to help people that's my goal my goal is to help people help myself help every you know make things better I don't care I'm not going to include negativity in my life again it's not happening not happening and I'm not going to move somewhere to work you know, at a Walmart or a factory. If I wanted to work at a factory, I would have worked down here. Wouldn't have left to go up to Illinois to work at a factory or a Walmart. Could do that here. You know, the place I was working at in Kentucky was awesome. I liked it. Uh, I was making fifteen dollars an hour, and some really nice people. But the place we was living at, the play that area was fifteen dollars an hour. Is the equivalent of like ten dollars an hour here. You know. Fast food chains in that area, their employees get thirteen to fourteen dollars an hour, and I make fifteen dollars an hour. Average housing cost is eight hundred fifty dollars a month. That doesn't work. It does not work. I mean, it's no different. The housing, the market's just way higher because it's closer to a city. So here, it's cheaper. Um, it's I mean, jobs might be kind of scarce, but the job I'm get, hoping I'm I will be getting, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Uh, it might take a little bit for you to see this, and you might see content coming out slowly. But once we get on our feet again, content will be pushing out more and more. Now I'm also adding some of these videos to Twitch. They're uh, they're adding stuff to Twitch where you can do video uploads, so you'll be able to see that on there. We'll be doing some streams and pretty much everything we can. And I just want to let you guys know: if you have somebody you like, if you have people in your life that you love that you cannot fathom being away from them do your best to take care of them don't leave them I feel like me leaving here was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life I thought moving away was going to be cool it was the biggest mistake I've ever made and the only way that I'd ever do that again is if things got completely too dire um, but I want to be here this is where I belong this is home Ironton, Ohio. It's what it is. What it is. But guys, thanks for listening to me rant. I'm sure you're tired of hearing this depressing stuff from my channel. 
I don't like to make it depressing, but, you know, it happens. It's, it's stuff. It's life. Life sucks sometimes. But anyways, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I love you guys. And just support. All the support. Tell me what you want, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Except for ponies. I can't give ponies. Or hand jobs. I can't do that either. It's just a Benz. I don't know. I love you guys. You take it easy.